the channel. Alright, we're back with another video. You guys notice anything different about my offense? If you're smart, like me, very smart over here, not to me, you'd notice I have Logan Woodside at my quarterback position. Like I said last video, I'm going to prove to you guys, your quarterback doesn't need to be that high of an overall for you to still win. So, um, yeah, we're going to go with him. Tommy Stevens, 60 overall. And, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm gonna show you guys against the Texans. You can still play with a low quarterback. Now, obviously, he's not gonna make every throw, and he's not gonna throw it as far, but we're still gonna win. Here with the return. Bit of a glitch there, but that's fun. First play, I'm, I'm playing a bit risky. Look at that dot. He passed that on perfectly, I'm telling you guys. A dot, again. The linebacker was right there, but it doesn't matter. Dot. Let's go. See? I'm telling you, it doesn't matter. Even held the kick good. This is just what I do for fun, you know? Doesn't really work too often, but it's whatever. Next video, I might try having a really low overall halfback instead of Barry Sanders and uh, see how it goes. But, um, you're going to be seeing this video a few days after I record it. So the video before this is probably going to be um, just like some regular gameplay. You can watch that if you want. Um, honestly, I don't really care. If you're just here for, like, challenge videos, that's fine. I don't know why the suggested play made me go a punt block, but, um, that's six points for them. But it, it doesn't matter. It really doesn't. Because my offense is uh, basically the best. Just ever. It's too OP, bro. Logan Woodside. He's the MVP, bro. Like, look at that. Look at that. He may not have the best throw power, but he, he's doing what he can, you know? It's still like an 80 yard touchdown. So that's two touchdowns for Logan Woodside. Remember, he's only 60 overall. You get him off the auction block for about 500 coins. That's, that's if you like snipe him, realistically. Maybe a thousand, but, you know, it doesn't really matter who you get. Look, he's he's just not playing well. You know, he, he knows that Logan Woodside is just better. Last video, well... This wasn't a video, but I used Tommy Stevens, which, um, I was, I was gonna do, uh, Trace McSorley instead, but they didn't put him in the game. I really don't know why. He's, like, the best player I think I've ever seen. 
But um, yeah, he's Tommy Stevens was like the backup for him in college, um, behind Trace McSorley. But yeah, they don't have him in the game. So another pass to Evan Ingram wasn't a wasn't a pick almost though. Watch this is a touchdown, bro. Look at that. He's too good. I'm telling y'all. It it doesn't matter what overall your your quarterback is, it just doesn't. All right, once the first quarter is over, I'm going to cut the video, change, so I can have Dante Culpepper at quarterback, and I'll change my halfback. So you guys are getting two videos in one. Put a hit on him, bro. I'll just do um, four different positions. And uh, we can we can test actually. That's a really good idea. And we can compare how many points we scored with each position. They'll all be um, offensive, just because you know you, it's kind of hard to score with defense. Get that notification out of here, bro. I'm gonna call a fair catch. Don't wanna don't wanna get rocked. Bit of motion of an Ingram. Nobody's really open here. Um Oh, wow. That's a mistake. I wouldn't really blame that on uh, Woods. I'd, I wouldn't blame it on Logan just because nobody, nobody was really open. Bro, who is that? He's really fast. Wait, Randall Cobb? No, that's Brandon Cooks. That explains it. Alright, we're going to cut the recording here. Uh, you guys will be seeing our new running back.